typically in the United States, what we do is we do four years of undergraduate education. And, you know, typically we do it like, for example, for myself, I did a degree in biology. Um, but, but it depends. It depends on where you go. If you go to a Caribbean medical school, they don't, they don't really require four years. So if I had known that before, depending on what program I get into, you know, it's really important to know that do they, do they really want four years? Do they just want two years? Do they just want your pre-med courses? But for the Caribbean school I went to, they didn't require it at that time. So, you know, I could have saved on that as well. So what I really want to focus also on is the first two years of medical school. And I'm going to kind of get into that, how to actually succeed in the first two years and how to actually use your resources really well. Um, but after the first two years, you typically should take the USMLE Step 1. And USMLE Step 1, I would say, is probably the most important exam um, out of all of them because that's what they look at uh, in res whenever you apply to residency. So you want to really focus on that exam uh, and you want to have a plan of action for that exam. And I'll kind of get into that in a little bit. And then, um, then you do your third year, which you typically do clinical rotations, uh, depending on um, you typically do your normal rotations like internal medicine, family medicine, pediatrics, or, you know, OB, uh, psychiatry, and surgery. You typically do those. And then you also do electives on what you want to do. And one thing that I recommend is, let's say if you want to go into pathology, for example, if you want to go, you know, go into internal medicine, start, you know, start figure, start focusing on those type of rotations. But you probably won't know until you're, I would say, I would say the first, first after your first part of your third year, because maybe, you know, because you want to try out different things. But then once, but if you know early, go and start doing that because that's going to help you get the residency, especially if you want to do pathology, for example. Um, and then your fourth year, you know, you wrap up everything and then you start getting ready for applications. You finish your step two and also your CS. And the thing about your CS exam is that you want for after your uh, internal medicine and emergency medicine rotations. Uh, that's I think that's where you get the most uh, direct patient contact. Um, uh, and I actually would recommend taking it after your CK because once you know your clinical differential diagnosis,